Okay, Linda, what you doing? I am starting supper. Tonight you're having liver and onions, roasted vegetables, and that's it. <laughs> Maybe coleslaw if I get you to put the machine up. But I've got about three tablespoons of oil in the frying pan. Okay. I'm going to add just a touch. Just a touch of margarine for flavor? Yes. Okay. Um, what is this thing? That's a butternut squash. It's and if you sucker. say that you don't like it, I will laugh at you because you've had it in the last six things of roasted vegetables. Don't you know it's not nice to laugh at your husband? Quit laughing. <laughs> All right, I shouldn't uh, say anything while you're dealing with a knife. Okay. Knowing how dangerous you are. Usually I do this with Vidalia onions, but they looked horrible at the grocery store, so I'm just using white onions. That was a red onion I put into the other vegetables. Well, I think your Vidalia is froze. I don't know if you can see out the window here, but it's snowing like crazy. Now, what I do... I put the onions on, turn it, whoops, turn it on high for a couple of minutes, and then I turn it right down, I put a lid on it, and let them sweat in there until they're very, very soft. Note to any law enforcement agency that is looking for uh, an interrogator, Linda knows how to sweat them. <laughs> There's the onions, and now I'm going to add, hopefully some black pepper, probably not, a little bit. Uh, more of Linda's famous measuring. And then a sprinkle of white pepper. What? No red pepper? I haven't come to it yet. Oh, okay. Digging it out from that big storage shelf. Show me your red pepper. There's your red peppers. Okay. And you cannot grind these in the grinder. Why not? They're too wet. It's hard to clean the thing afterwards. Okay. Don't lick your hands though. That might be painful. Don't rub your eyes either. And when you're Just dealing with onions, you start crying. They don't usually bother you though. But there's the onions in. Oh, I forgot to add some salt. Oh, you forgetting salt? My God. And today I'm using smoked salt. Did you hear about the latest trick you came up with? If you really like your coffee, you smoke it. Honest. You've got to be kidding. No. That's the new way of uh, getting high, I guess. Or something. That's your caffeine fix for the whatever length of time you live. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. That's my onions in. See, Don wanted supper because I called up while he was working and I says, Hey, I finally did it. I got all the dishes done. So, of course, I had to come down and interrupt. <sighs> Hey, I've been working hard today, dear. I know. You're setting up everything. I'm putting the new business onto my photo computer. And uh, it's hard to see. <laughs> I keep taking glasses off. Changing them around. That's just some reading. olive oil. Oh, that's for the, the roasted, roasted vegetables. vegetables. Yeah, and we'll try some steak spice on it this time. Why are you adding it to the oil instead of onto the vegetables? Does it make any difference? I hope not. I did it by mistake. <laughs> okay. 
first you put the vegetables on. <laughs> you want some spicy paprika? Yeah, but put the vegetables on first. Eh, eating at Linda's house is always an adventure. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> Okay, you're trying to redeem yourself. No, I'm trying to cook a to chip to change a mistake into a huge success. That's what cooking is. Chefs do it perfectly the first time. Cooks and housewives, if you can fix a mistake, you're much better than a chef. <laughs> okay, dear. I'll let that one slide. At least you aren't a doctor. Oh, it'll. See, you turn it down, but they've already started to get soft, and no, none of them are burnt. The camera's going to jiggle because I'm laughing today. Come on, I'm in a fantastic mood. I just got good news about that doctor's appointment. Yes. So you can't... You finally got a doctor. Well, let's clarify that. You got a referral to a doctor that's not going on vacation. I'm going to see... Uh, he tests your nerves to find out which ones are good and which ones are bad and how to fix them if if they can be fixed. So, I go the end, May 22nd. Too much information. Mm -hmm. Well. Good God, look at the snow come down. No, mm. they keep hearing me say different things about me and my health, so I thought I would tell them what the doctor was. Okay. Because I don't know what he's called. Oh, well, time to wash your hands. Time to wash my hands. We'll bring you back or in about... pet one of the cats first. <laughs> You're nasty. We'll bring you back in about 20 minutes when I start the liver. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. There we go. Okay. Now time for the liver. The vegetables are cooked in the oven. I'm just letting them, letting the moisture evaporate. These are the onions. They've all sweated down. Now for the liver. You need about two or three tablespoons of oil in the pan. That might be two. <laughs> that might be four. No, <laughs> two or three. Lucky I am not stepping on your toe, so don't holler at me. Or on your tail. I'm adding hot paprika, or spicy paprika. And... I'll use seasoned salt this time. You can change the spices around to whatever way you like. And I know people are going to say, liver, ew. But I just found out I've got low B12. And there's no B12 found in plant foods. So you're supposed to eat lots of liver is good. Red clams, meat. clams, oysters, any type of meat really. But liver is one of the best. But red meat is better than chicken. So I thought I would show you how. I you know what they say about oysters. Doesn't work, trust me. <laughs> I'm going to add in some red peppers too. But salt and pepper's fine. When I was pregnant for my first son, the doctor said, eat lots of liver, and Don heard him. So Don would go to the store and he'd buy liver and he'd say, now you make sure you cook that. And he'd come home after his night shift because 
And he'd say, did you cook that liver? And I'd say, yes, dear. Never asked me if I ate it. Okay. But there, you just let the pan get hot. Now, this is what I do different from almost anybody else. I don't dredge it in flour. I don't add anything to it. I take it out of the pan, or out of the package. Oh, yeah, it's not quite hot enough yet. And liver comes in all sorts of weird shapes and textures and... I think it depends on the mood of the butcher, how he cuts it. But there's two pieces. And there's my third piece. And I let it cook until it gets browned on the one side. And then I flip it and I add all the onions into it so the meat picks up the onion taste. It takes about five minutes to cook a pan full of liver. Okay. The reason liver is so popular, that is three dollars worth of meat. Okay, and is it going to set up the smoke alarms? No, I don't do that with liver. I'll get out of the way. Now gray on the one side, so I turn it over. I didn't add salt to this because the the onions have salt in them, so this doesn't need it. And there. I clean it down, I make the elements smaller, and you really should wear an apron because it's spitting at me. So put an apron on, it's not spitting at me. Okay. If I reach across and smack you on the butt, is that spousal abuse? <laughs> yes, it would be, because when I get the fries, I'm going to hit the back. Oh. A hot frying pan beats a cold hand. But there. In about two minutes, that'll all be ready. You can... Well, my mother used to add sliced green tomatoes into it. I think she did the did that after she served everybody except my dad because he was the only one that liked it that way. But that is my liver dinner. That's did, your B12 dinner. <laughs> yeah. Um, Don's mother always dredged it in flour and cooked it until it was very, I could use very it for sure, dry. Lover. And my mother, she'd cook it and it was almost raw. So I think I've hit the happy medium. I hope so. I've got one son that loves liver and I've got the other son who hates it. Oh well. Alright. Say goodbye. We'll come back when you're ready to serve. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. You're hauling vegetables out. Yeah. And those are the roasted or steamed roasted vegetables. There's sweet potatoes, red onions, carrots, and squash. I added the red onions to give it a little bit different color than orange. But that actually looks kind of nice, doesn't it? But that's but where's dinner. my parsnips? They went too woody. I had to throw a whole package <laughs> out. I was not impressed. Okay. But, so, that's how I make liver dinner. And I'll show it to you. I'll let Don show you when I get it all plated up. Okay, then. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Okay, this is dinner. Um, I forgot to fry the bacon and add that. Mm, fried bacon? Shame on you, dear. <laughs>
But yeah, we all, I usually fry up some bacon, then cook the liver in with the bacon. But this is just as good. There's hardly any carbs, and there's lots of B12. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.